What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Jake's Take. Um, this time we're in the kitchen with my mom. And um, if you watched my previous video of uh, tuna fishing with my dad, we got a bunch of bluefin tuna. It was a great quick trip. And um, now we're gonna do a little cooking episode. I'm gonna show you how um, we're gonna prepare it. Um, we have two recipes. We are um, making pokey and we are grilling it. So, mom, what do we what do we got with the pokey here? Uh, garlic, smashed, chopped up garlic for the pokey. Going in. Green onions. Macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts. Soy sauce. A little seaweed salad. Seaweed salad, yeah, that's my favorite part. Don't be shy on the seaweed salad. All right. Show us the seaweed salad. Hold it up to Everybody the camera. likes seaweed salad. Hold some, hold some up to the camera. Don't talk. Okay, now we're gonna put in toasted sesame oil. What a little that? bit. What does that do? Gives it flavor. It gives it flavor like yeah. sesame. Oh, and the sesame seeds. Jake, get, get, this, get the sesame seeds right there. That's garlic, Dave. Sesame seeds. A little bit of sesame seed. So it's very good for me, I guess. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you just mix it up. Really good. You refrigerate it for a little while before you're getting ready to eat it. And I have to thank Rick Powell for this recipe. But thanks, thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. You're the man. Okay. Why? Right. I just refrigerate it. Done. All right, so now we're out here um, grilling here with uh, Big Wave Dave. He prepared the tuna steaks for uh, tonight's dinner. Um, so how did you uh, marinate those tuna steaks? First thing I did when I got home from work is I drank a New Brighton <laughs> from Tuckahoe Brewing Company in Egg Harbor Township. Great beer to try. It's a little dark. It's not for light beer lovers. Okay, then you saw this a little earlier. Um, we marinated this. First we cut it up, nice three-quarter inch steaks. Some of it went to pokey, some of it went to the grilling steaks. We put, I like to rub it down with a little garlic first yeah. off. Give it a good rub down. A little little tuna rub with garlic. A lot of people don't put the garlic on. I do, I like the taste of garlic. So is Jake. Okay, then we poured in some uh, kamani sauce. And then the uh, oil, the uh, ses sesame seeds oil. Mix that together, and I put wasabi in that sauce. That's when I dump it in here. Okay, dump all that sauce in there. And let this soak for maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's nice, about five. It's a nice color. And um, we put some sesame seed in there. I like to apply the sesame seed as the steaks. So how long it. do you cook it for? It's fast. Right now I'm getting the grill real hot. I like to cook this stuff fast so I get a nice color on the outside and raw in the middle. It's almost like 
eating warmed up sushi because I like my fish raw. <laughs> Yeah. So if you like warmed up sushi, you'll love Big Way of Dave's tuna. Yeah. So I know one last thing. I'll be using my Steelers. Um, what do you call it? Spatula. Yeah. We'll see what happens with the Steelers this year. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good All right. Seed oil it burns when you put these on. So you got to be careful how much sesame seed oil you use. You don't want this to flare up like crazy. These aren't the biggest tuna steaks we ever had, but they're gonna be tasty. So you get them on quick, flip them once. This is a little thin one here. He's gonna be, we're gonna eat him almost raw. We're gonna heat him up and eat him raw like out here at the grill. This is my, um, I think it's my fourth night in a row eating tuna from the most recent kill. Sometimes we do lobster. <laughs> okay, close that off. Oh, okay. Looks tasty, doesn't it? All right, now close it. Let's hope the Steelers do better than your uh, flipping skills this year. Oh, my flipping skills are great. <laughs> oh! Hot. Mm. A lot of flavors to the marinade along with the fish. It's great. You could taste the sesame seed, the wasabi, fresh tuna. This tuna we, we caught. It's never frozen. So all you people that buy tuna in the grocery store and eat frozen tuna, it doesn't taste the same as what comes off the boat. If you ever get tuna, somebody gives it to you that they just caught, do not freeze it. Eat it, and eat it mostly raw. You'll appreciate tuna much more. open I want to show you the inside of it see that pinkness that's what you want a lot of pinkness mm. little semi raw inside nice and hot white temperature real hot cool, cool inside and just tasty go one other thing this is my outdoor kitchen my grill my smoker my beer refrigerator, my sink, hot and cold running water, storage, which I made out of fused together AZEC panels, and I made these trusses up there too. So, yeah, I have some old teeth up there. Okay. <laughs> this is take. Three, so the fish is getting cold. So, Mom, how's the, uh, how's the pokey doing? Pokey's doing good. It's refrigerated for now about 15 minutes, and it's been ready to eat. Awesome. Nice. Okay. So, I also made some mango salsa. That's good. So, uh, mm. we're going to put it on top of the tuna. And... Eat if you it. would like this recipe, you can subscribe <laughs> to Jake's Take. There you go. Okay. Oh, really? So I also made coconut rice in the Instapot tonight for the first time, so I hope it's good. Put this bite on it. So Looks good. delish. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Is it? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I gotta eat. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I didn't sign up for this shit. All right, just eat, eat. Right, and you gotta make it look really good. Dude, I don't, I don't like this. You gotta do it. You have to do it, Luke. Just do it. This is your new 
life, Luke. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to be a bit. Yeah, for mm, it's so good. <laughs> I don't like being on camera like this. Either. You're too close in his face. Peace. <laughs> no peace. I, 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 yeah. It's not 5:30. You got time. Oh, look at this. Are you filming this? Let's take a little more. I've eaten so much of this in the last few days. Oh, just a little more. Oh my yeah. gosh. Good. <laughs> just an extension of my psyche. Oh, man, you're cooking out a lot. I also have chili. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Here, do you want some? Mm. Is that filming? Dave, mm -hmm. you want some asparagus? Sure. So, is that filming? We have some fresh asparagus too. It's like keep your pee smelling right. This food is so good. My you life is such a great cook. Oh, cool. I never wanted to go out to a restaurant. <laughs> what? I told Luke and Jake that in their lifetimes, they may never eat as good as we are in this house. Because we eat a lot of fresh seafood, fresh cooking, delicious stuff. Mom cooks nice cookies. Always put stale bread in your cookies because it keeps your cookies moist. Wait, I got these stupid glasses on. <laughs> if you um, <coughs> like cookies, you should uh, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Um, it was a great dinner we had here at the Fularski house and uh, awesome tuna. And these aren't the cookies that you get on your computer. They're the cookies you eat. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like the cookies on your computer, you should like this video and subscribe to my channel. So, thanks, thanks for dinner, Mom. One of the best dinners I've had since the last time she cooked. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's new feed. So it's very good for vegans. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Good man. He's from Hawaii. Say he came from Hawaii. Would you shut up? You're really annoying. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> if I won't make a good part of the film crew. Okay. Nice. I just refrigerated. Done. <laughs> okay. And that was my wife, <laughs> lovely Miss Aaron, <laughs> Mrs. Aaron. I brought a lot of seafood home for her over the years to learn how to cook real good. <laughs> we had lobster, we have mussels, we've had fish, we kill a lot of tuna. Long fin, blue fin, big eye, you name it, we ate it. And I taught Jake all that too. Okay, I'm done.